Jack here at JBF Music and Guitar Lessons, and this Licks to Impress, I'm going over the main theme intro the guitar solo bit, and some of the incidental music from the TV show Red Dwarf. If you want to hear both the guitar parts together, there's a link up in the top right there. Okay, so just a few little things I'd like to highlight here in regard to the articulation and make it sound a little bit more authentic. A slide in bar 4 for the position shift. Also, slight overbending in general, and you know within reason a wild vibrato will help get that sort of alien vibe, which the guitarist actually does a fantastic job of conveying here. Hang back on these notes, playing a little bit behind the beat, that'll sound fantastic. The next bit I did a pre-dip on the whammy bar, and then I'm doing a bar assisted bend. For more on those, a link in the top right. Yeah, th this guitar's got a little bit of play in the trend block, so I can go down in pitch as well as raise it with the bar. On this note, after that big bend, you want to put on a nice wide vibrato, because it almost sounds like it's a semitone higher, because the vibrato is just so wide. Similar idea for the double stop, and doing a pre-dip into the bend, and then when the notes are held together, a nice whammy bar vibrato over the top of that as well. You can do some bar assisted bends in the next two bars for these kind of ones, if you want to, totally up to you. The next tricky part here is the triplets, so the first beat in that group of six is actually a rest. It's not too difficult if you listen to it enough times, it should click, but just, just watch out for that. Um, at this bit here, sliding down from that note, and then when I go the last time, vibrato on that note, and then here. I opted to play the C here because there's more neck to slide down, so you get a more effective slide out of it than if you were to just play it on the third fret. Now I don't have too much to say about these next two arrangements other than that I've just kept it to two guitars, uh, so they are a bit simplified. You might want to experiment with the chord voicings and play them in different octaves, so for example the Ace Rimmer ones is really good if you move both guitars up an octave as well. Just something to experiment with. If you don't know what this is, it's an Evo or electronic bow. Um, as far as I'm aware how it works is when you turn it on, it's basically an electromagnet, so it creates a magnetic field around the strings, it causes them to vibrate and that's how you get sustained. If you're interested in buying one or checking one out, I'll put a little link down in the description.
a quick note to say I've done similar videos to this before, like the guitar licks from Bill and Ted, the in-between scene music from Friends, and some retro 16-bit video game jingles and melodies. I'll let you check out those videos, link up at the top there. And another few ones like this I've got in the pipeline that I'm working on, but any suggestions are more than welcome. So as always, I really hope this video has been useful for you guys and you got some new licks, compositional ideas and hopefully some new tricks or concepts to expand upon and work into your own craft. If that has been the case, you've taken something away, found it interesting, want to show support for the channel, give it a wee pop on the platform, please do consider to share, like, comment, enable notifications and subscribe if you feel so inclined. Cheers guys.